as we celebrate our town's 170th anniversary this weekend, we should realize that the reason Sublet has existed for so long is because of Our Lady's Church that was planted here by God. Our church in Sublet is named after the most famous icon in the whole world, Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Now remember what an icon is. An icon is written in the form of a window frame because the icon itself is really a window that allows us to look into the life of heaven. Now we could say an icon is a window that looks into a mystery. And remember what a mystery is. Mystery is not, why did Professor Plum kill Mr. Body in the library with a candlestick? No, we've all watched too many Columbo episodes. That's not really what a mystery is. Mystery is rather how we are able to see divine truth. Mystery is how we grapple using our Catholic faith and using the gift of our devotion to the Catholic Church. Mystery is how we see what the truth is. We are able to have just a little bit of an understanding of God's truth so that at the end of our life we can enter into heaven as saints. And so when we look at an icon with faith, when we look at an icon with devotion, we can start to have a feel of the sense of being drawn into the living presence of God. The Blessed Mother and the saints who are depicted in an icon, they're looking at us through the window frame of, of heaven. They look at us from the heavenly side of reality. And we're looking into heaven from the earthly side of the icon. In other words, we're coming into contact with the sacred whenever we look at an icon. We look at Mary in our icon here in Sublette, and we experience the mother of God's presence. And so we are drawn into relationship with her. Isn't that fascinating? That God wants you to have a relationship with his mother Mary. Our Lady Perpetual Help enters into relationship with you when you look at her and when she looks at you through the icon. And Mary's, of course, entering into relationship with us so that she can convince us of the truth that God wants to be in relationship with you, that God is in your town of Sublette or West Brooklyn or Maytown. He dwells within the closed doors of your tabernacle you see him at every Mass. He comes before you in the Eucharist. And the God of the universe wishes to enter into you in Holy Communion. That's a mystery. Now there's enough theology and an icon of Our Lady Perpetual Help to give you more than two dozen Sunday homilies. But on this, our anniversary of Sublette, I just wanted to focus your attention on the hands of Mary. Remember, your hand is a symbol of your will. Our noggin, that's a symbol of our intellect. But our hands are a symbol of our will. And these are the two great superpowers, intellect and will, that allow us to be made human. Human beings who are in the image and likeness of God. God has an intellect, God has a will, and he's given those two superpowers to you a mere human being made out of flesh and blood. Now the right hand of Mary is pointing to the boy Jesus. Mary's hand is straight in the icon. She's pointing with her fingers to what she is holding. She is holding God's son. Mary is standing in this icon, which is actually something unique. Usually in icons, the people are sitting down. But Mary is standing the icon of Our Lady Perpetual Help. And she's actually presenting the infant Jesus to us. Notice Mary's left hand and arm. She's not holding God to herself. Rather, it's almost as if Mary is presenting the infant Jesus to each one of us to hold. You see, Mary is a unique relationship with each one of us. She trusts us. But the Virgin Mary's purpose wasn't just to give birth to God and then go away. No. 
The will of God for Mary was that she might be our mother and present her son, Jesus, to each one of us. Mary, in having received the gift of her son, doesn't clutch that gift nor hoard Jesus to herself. No, she tries to pawn that gift off on each one of us. Mary says to you, when you walk into the church in Sublette, Mary says, here, here's my son. Don't you want to hold him? Don't you want to be with my son? Wouldn't you like to take God into your arms and hold him? Our Lady Perpetual Help wants you to receive Jesus into your hands, into your arms. And then Mary will place the boy Jesus in your hands, in your will. And the moment that we enter into relationship with God, we will be able to accomplish the Lord's will in our life by living our vocations for the glory of God. On this, the feast of Mary's birthday, we thank God for such a great gift of our Lady Perpetual Help Church. Every time we come into our church in Sublette, Our Lady wishes to present to us the most precious gift, the gift that she held that first Christmas in her arms, the baby Jesus. God wishes to give you that gift, the gift of his son, not only to hold like Mary holds, but to treasure in your heart when you receive Holy Communion. Happy birthday to Our Lady. Or as the Italians say, Tanti auguri a te, Tanti auguri a te, Tanti auguri mio caro le donna, Tanti auguri a te. Happy birthday to Our Lady of Perpetual.